Hi everybody, Marguerite here, sharing details about our next art swap, our art exchange. It will be on these uh, ATC cards. Um, these, these cards contain four ATCs, and I will go over a little bit more specifically about how to make them in just a minute, but I want to give you the details about the exchange first. So the exchange uh, is open now and I will be accepting uh, cards through August 15th. After that time I will do the swapping and then mail the cards out. You are allowed to mail up to four of these cards so what you would do is just uh, put them in an envelope, mail them to me, I will exchange them out and then mail you back four cards in in a single envelope okay uh, to participate please go to the collage art collective i will put the website in the description box below uh, the price is seven dollars to participate and that includes uh, the envelope that i'll uh, buy as, along with the uh, postage to send it back and uh, also the price goes toward um, the work that I do to exchange all of the cards, uh, the time that I use to do that. I usually get, we usually get about, the participation is, is quite big. I, I had about more than 70 people participate the last time, so there is a really big um, mix of, of different kinds of cards that you will get in return. The other thing to remember when making these cards is to keep everything flat, so to use papers only, no bumpy embellishments of any kind. Uh, you can put um, varnish over the top. These two have kind of a, a shiny varnish, or you don't need to put varnish at all and you can just have the papers um, as, as, as is. All right, so what are these exactly? Um, first of all, we need to talk about what is an ATC. If you're unfamiliar with that term, ATCs stand for Artist Trade Card, and they are usually the size of a standard playing card. Let's see if I got it centered here. Um, a standard playing card is two and a half inches by three and a half inches and you create art on it. And depending on the type of art that you make, um, it could be mixed media, it could be watercolor, whatever. I, I like very much collage art, and so I look to trade and collect um, artist trade cards from other collage artists. Um, and they usually look something like this. On the back, you just put your name, the date, and maybe where you're from. Um, some people put their full address uh, in case you know somebody wants to to do more art in the future and just do exchange but hopefully you'll put something and not just leave them blank like these ones <laughs> this is good so our art exchange is with these they look like this and it's basically four ATCs that are on a single a single page right this measurement is five by seven so five inches wide by seven inches long and um, I have two examples here this first one was done by my friend Rhonda Winstead she actually sent this to me in the mail so she just used a regular postage stamp to send it in the mail and I would encourage anyone who wants to do these um, you know to do something something similar to this where you just um, you know create your 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 full sheet and then send it out so here's another example same thing right came from somebody who did an exchange in the past um, from Mexico City one of the great things about these cards is that the person who receives one can choose whether or not they want to keep it intact the way it is or to cut along the lines and to have four individual ATCs. So it's it's a personal choice, right? You, you choose. So for the backs, if 
when you create your cards um, right in the four spots your your name and date uh, just so that when if and when they are cut down into four pieces um, that information stays along with the individual cards so how how are these made you can make them however you would like um, but if I deconstruct how this one was made Rhonda used a sheet of looks like typewriter typewriting uh, page at the base and then on top of that added a bunch of elements so this is kind of in the style of um, creating a master board where you create a large you know section of, of collaged papers and then you you know mark with your lines so you know where all the boundaries are and then you can start adding elements on top um, to create four individual um, ATCs that are all in the same theme. With these ones, I can see some shared pieces here. This is some text uh, dictionary page. Um, you can see this Sears and Roebuck. Um, these, this was a, a title page and just kind of torn, torn off pieces. There's also some maps that are shared here and here. More map here. There is some ledger paper here and here and then some rubber stamping that is just kind of um, on different corners. And then lastly, they share these green postage stamps, right? Oh, and not lastly, but also, they also share these um, images of herbs or, or plants, right? So they're, each individual um, ATC is different, but they all have the same theme or similar theme. Same thing. Same with this one. You've got flowers, flowered themes. You've got these vintage ladies. And then you've got these postmarks. All these pieces were cut out and, and pasted individually. I see washi tape. This is the same washi tape used in all four, but with the elements kind of mixed, they're all individually um, different, right? So these are just some examples of, of ways you can do it. If here's, here's an, an example of the kind of um, base that you can use to begin your collage. Um, this is just a, you know, something from a cereal box. It's, it's got a really good consistency of paper, so it's not too thick and not too thin. It's a little bit bendable. Um, and then I can just start adding papers on the top. Actually, I would probably start adding papers on this side and have this side blank for if I wanted to um, put my name and, and information on the back, right? So these are, again, five by seven. And, um, you know, think of it as a master board where you're just gluing down things. I created a, a video for creating art, collage art from a master board. So I'll also, also link to that in case that's interesting to you. And then lastly, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to do a, a small, a short class on how to make these. Um, I, I'm setting aside the date of July 22nd. It's, um, you know, the second half of July. I'll do two of them in the day so that I can accommodate um, people who are um, on, in other parts of the world where, where I am in, versus where I am in California um, to help with the time. So that's going to be July 22nd, and that's going to be also in uh, my Collage Art Collective, which is the location where um, you do the sign up for these exchanges. I'll put all the information in the description box so that you have that. All right, so if there's anything that I missed, uh, please ask me if you have any questions about any of this. Um, the theme is 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 a vintage collage, so at least a third of your elements should be vintage or um, they don't need to be exactly uh, vintage, but they can be vintage inspired. So you, if you find something on the internet and print it out, that's absolutely fine too. They don't need to be originals. Um, it's, it's whatever you have and, and what you want to work with as long as it's in a vintage style, okay? Um, right, so yes, please do let me know if you have any other questions. 
And if not, hopefully I will see you in the Collage Art Collective uh, when you uh, sign up for the exchange, if you're interested. Thanks for watching.